MGTOW, which stands for Men Going Their Own Way, is a philosophy or movement that encourages men to reject traditional societal expectations of masculinity and relationships, and instead focus on personal growth and independence. There is some debate over whether MGTOW is more relevant now than ever before, but there are certainly some factors that have contributed to its popularity in recent years. One factor is the changing cultural and economic landscape. In many Western countries, men are no longer seen as the primary breadwinners, and traditional gender roles are becoming less rigid. This has led some men to feel uncertain about their place in society and their role in relationships, which may make the idea of going their own way more appealing. Another factor is the rise of the internet and social media, which has made it easier for like minded individuals to connect and share their experiences. Online communities of NGTOW men have grown in recent years, providing a supportive environment for those who have chosen to reject traditional societal expectations. However, it's important to note that NGTOW is a controversial movement, and there are many who criticize its principles and actions. Some argue that it promotes misogyny and is based on flawed assumptions about gender roles and relationships. Men are basically losing identity feeling like they have nowhere to go, the laws are against them, women are too much trouble for what it's worth, marriage is basically the sword to a man and his earnings etc. Most men have given great stuff here. Who, in their right mind would want to be part of that drama and agenda? Maybe masochists? Look at the women opinions. Women think it's because men can't get sex. Simple, yet wrong. Generally. Sex, whether it's in cell or MGTOW discussions and the negative impacts of it, is the symptom, not the cause. Sex is a mere symptom. Sex is not the underlying factors at play. The majority of men have given a plethora of factors and women have outright rejected it and insist their viewpoint without listening to men. That's postmodernistic feminism 101. Not only are men not finding solutions to their problems, talking about it gets men rejected. How can men do the feminist notion of coming out and talking about our feelings, when our very coming out has the result of emotional crucifixion? Not only are men realistically pushed aside, but men are not allowed to talk about it because we are always the bad guy. Almost all decisions of married men or men in relationships are not autonomous. They have to either get approval from their partner, or just do what they say. Otherwise, they have to bear days of nagging and whining, which can lead to fake allegations if you ever take a stand. Most men who go through a divorce feel incredibly objectified. Oftentimes they end up having to pay alimony, far more than what they can afford, and end up living in shambles themselves. CBS News reports on alimony bias. The Census Bureau says 243,000 people got alimony last year, 98% of them women. The Internal Revenue Service says 361,000 taxpayers claimed they paid a total of $9.6 billion in alimony in 2015, though only 178,000 reported receiving spousal support. This, of course, only adds more fuel to the fire for MGTOW. The data shows that most men get the short end of the stick in divorce courts, and that most divorces are initiated by women. In addition to this, MGTOW often cites what they call female privilege, which is the idea that women get special privileges in the dating, legal, and financial realms. Hiring processes are skewed in favor of women. A less qualified woman will oftentimes get chosen over a more qualified man, simply because of quotas. Women serve less prison time for the exact same crimes. And that women will sometimes use their beauty and sexual appeal to get away with things. Nto shares that men are the true victims of feminist organizations and feminist movements like Me Too. Nto argues that men are left with no choice but to protect themselves from a powerful lot of rampaging, vindictive women making false accusations. And the result? Men are on their own. As proven by this thread. These are the reasons MGTOW is more important in this era than ever. It's almost as if men have to go this MGTOW route to find mental stability and rational behind it all.